We begin with breaking news out of Las Cruces. Police say at least one man was injured after a shooting just right across the street from New Mexico State University. The shooting broke out shortly after 345 on El Paseo Drive. Now, ABC 7's Jason McNabb was there earlier today, and he was there right now. Actually, he spoke with witnesses. Let's take a look at what they're telling him. Uh, so I was just like walking outside and I just hear a bunch of gunshots and I just ducked down and then that's all I heard and then like 30 seconds later I hear it again shooting. Witnesses are telling us they heard up to 30 rounds being fired in Las Cruces Saturday afternoon. Police say that around 3.45 p.m. gunfire rang out the corner of El Paseo Road and University Avenue. Shortly after the shooting, a white pickup truck was seen crashing into a nearby church right off El Paseo. Look at this video. You can see the white truck crashed into this church, as well as some tire marks left on the landscape. Las Cruces police confirmed that at least one was shot and rushed to a nearby hospital. Witnesses say they saw two trucks, a red truck and a white truck, driving down El Paseo with both trucks exchanging gunfire. Those witnesses adding that they saw the white truck lose control and crash into this church building. Our cameras caught a red truck at the crime scene pulled over by police, as well as the white truck crashed into the church. There were bullet markers on and near both trucks. A woman who claimed to be the sister of the driver of the red truck spoke to us. She said both trucks belonged to her brother. And she says the white truck was reportedly stolen earlier Saturday and her brother was trying to get it back when the violence broke out. This guy, I guess, lost control and crashed. And um, I think my brother got off and that guy started shooting at him and my brother shot back at him. And I'm not sure if he hurt him or not, but my brother is, he did get, get shot. And that was Jason McNabb reporting. Now, police have not been able to confirm if the crash and the shooting are directly related at this time. Once again, police have not confirmed if the two trucks were shooting at each other. And now it's still a very active investigation right now. No suspect has been named. But of course, as soon as we learn more information, we'll make sure to update you both on air and online on our website, kvia.com.